Sage Song. Sage Song is the last track on the album, and I wrote it when I was in Oregon. Actually, I was working for the Harvest back in 2017, and I actually had a day off after about a month of working my working my butt off. <laughs> and I took that day to go down to the the creek, and there in Ashland, Oregon, uh, Lithia Lithia Park, Lithia Creek, and I was. You know, sitting there with a bowl and my guitar and a notebook by the by the creek, just listening to the water flow and the birds, just just chilling and and this melody came to me. Da 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 just came to me and I just I played that for like an hour and just started writing. These lyrics, it all just came out of nowhere and and I'm really happy with the way it all came out in the end. It was an entirely acoustic album that was recorded with stand up bass cello, mandolin, an acoustic guitar, and ceramic bongos, and harmonies, and vocals, and it just, it really came together well. Um, all the musicians on the album put in something additive, something generative, something creative that helped bring out this idea and flesh it out. Um, and Sage Song is about, it, for me, it's about this message that's coming from the earth, this message that's coming from humanity this this message of of the rise of the of, of the great feminine this return of the powerful divine feminine and a rebalancing of the of the energies here and like i said this melody and these songs just kind of came to me and, and then we fleshed it out on the on the record and and it just kind of took on a life of its own this is one of these kinds of songs that just writes themselves and they just they it's a melody that just kind of comes out of out of the universe, you know, from from God knows where. <laughs> and yeah, sage song. Shifting earth, she's giving birth, she's gotten death. We're hurting her, not respecting her, we can't forget. 